My name is Mark Anthony Johnson. I'm the Director of Health and Wellness at Dignity and Power Now. Uh, we're in Sacramento today to talk to the uh, Select Committee for the Boys and Men of Color. We're talking about Black Lives Matter, which is very important. Uh, we know that every 28 hours a black person in the United States is killed in a law enforcement interaction of vigilante violence. Um, additionally, we know that uh, while we can take these things and record them with cell phones on the outside, there's no uh, visibility on the inside. We're a multiracial grassroots organization that's fighting to stop mass incarceration and state violence in Los Angeles County. Uh, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department is the largest sheriff's department in the country, running the largest jail system on the planet Earth. And we organize and work with formerly incarcerated folks coming out of the jails, their family members, their communities, uh, to lead a movement to stop uh, excessive force, lethal force, and misconduct uh, in the jail system. There's two campaigns that we have. We are fighting for civilian oversight in the Sheriff's Department. It took us over two years um, to move the County Board of Supervisors to get three out of the five votes of the supervisors to support civilian oversight. Now we're in a space where we are pushing for our five non-negotiables. Uh, we want subpoena power. We want no law enforcement on the commission. Uh, we want nine members on the commission, four of which selected by the community. We want to direct the functions of the Inspector General that was created and we want independent legal counsel. And so these are the five non-negotiables that we see would be important to have effective oversight to stop the human rights violations we see inside the county jail system. Our other campaign is to stop jail construction. Uh, Los Angeles is trying to move forward with a $2.3 billion jail plan that includes a mental health facility and a women's jail. We have a national crisis of criminalizing black and brown folks, specifically black folks, who are 9% of the county population, but 43.7% of the county jail population with a, quote, serious mental illness requiring special housing. And yet there's no consistent data um, that's tracking how those folks are experiencing use of force on the inside or on the outside. So we believe that jail expansion and jail construction is sheriff violence. We think that if you expand the system, we know that our folks get worse while they're inside. Uh, we know that uh, mental health conditions get worse when they're inside, and folks who don't have mental health conditions um, oftentimes are double. Uh, folks who don't have mental health conditions are two times as likely to get uh, what they call a mood disorder, uh, anxiety, depression, and bipolar once they're inside. And, th and that's what sheriff violence looks like, jail expansion, as well as physical brutality. You know, what inspires me to do this work is, um, so I'm an acupuncturist, and uh, what really inspires me is the vision of the work that we're doing. We're not just talking about state violence as brutality, but we're talking about healing, right? And so if we're actually gonna build a movement um, that can last and create really meaningful changes, uh, systemic changes, we have to be able to heal uh, from state violence. And that's where doing healing work, um, and, and talking about trauma and resilience are really important. And not just on the individual level, but thinking community-wide and systemically. And so that inspires me to think about that component is central to, to, to the development of this movement. Have conversations locally, uh, wherever you are, uh, around uh, how state laws impact transparency and accountability. In Los Angeles, uh, the Peace Officers Bill of Rights affects how deeply we can get uh, a reach into the Sheriff's Department's files and documents uh, when it comes to misconduct. Uh, this is a right moment to be talking about that and to be thinking about pushing back on the level of protections that law enforcement has when it comes to misconduct.